13 out of 30 MCA Central Committee members have signed the resignation letters, but it will only take effect once all conflicting factions agreed on the date of the fresh election. MCA Vice President Dato Sri Liao Tiong Lai said this in the presence of other CC members at a press conference after the special briefing session which replaced the extraordinary general meeting called by Liao's faction at Wisma MCA in Kuala Lumpur on Saturday. Kita dah bersedia. Kita dah bersedia, kita tanda tangan. Kita belum 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 letak tari dia. Karena kita kena letak tari dia untuk effective when uh, as agreed upon, I think uh, we already agreed and we achieved consensus that we need a fresh election. So as of the date, uh, let uh, let us uh, we have a, we, we we have the roadmap and we will go according to a roadmap. Currently, there are 30 elected members in the CC comprising the president, deputy president, four vice presidents, and 24 CC members. Under party constitution, Article 41, fresh elections for the CC can be held when at least two thirds of the CC resign. Ini adalah untuk memulihkan ke uh, demokrasi, memulihkan dignity dan integriti parti MCA. Kita yakin uh, melalui uh, pemilihan yang diadakan dalam masa terdekat ini, keutuhan dan kekuatan parti dapat dibangkitkan semula dengan cepat. Liao says the MCA central delegates and members have raised their hands in a show of support for a fresh election to be held in 60 days during the briefing. To a question, Liao says the party can get the approval from Registrar of Societies if it plans to postpone the December 4th and 5th annual general meeting to next year. On the party constitution Article 46, Liao says he agreed to amend it as it will prevent the president to have selective appointment. Aaron Rudd, The Star Malaysia.